Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome. So good to see you again. Come and sit on Grammy's quilt with me while we speak of another one of God's creation. Today we're going to talk about an animal that is the biggest mammal in the whole world. Does anybody know, happen to know what that might be? That's right. It's a giraffe. Giraffes, males, are 16 to 18 feet tall. And they can weigh up to 2,500 pounds. That's a lot of giraffe. And females, giraffes, are a little smaller, 12 to 14 feet tall. That's still very tall. And they weigh up to 1,800 pounds. Giraffes live in Africa, which is so far away from here. It's like 9,000 miles from here. And it takes up to 15 hours to fly there. Wow, that's a long ways away. Giraffes eat leaves. They are called herbivores. And that means they eat plants. They eat flowers and shrubs, but mostly they love the top of trees, these acacia trees, because they're tall enough to get to the top. So giraffes live in Africa in the woodlands so that they can be in their environment so they can eat a lot of leaves. Giraffes eat up to 75 pounds of leaves per day. Wow. That means that they are um, eating almost the whole day. Giraffes only sleep 20 or 30 minutes in a whole day. That is amazing. And they take little two-minute naps where they just stand quietly and their eyes are sort of semi-closed and they just take a couple minutes nap. Wow. Okay, I brought a picture. We have this picture in our bedroom, and we love giraffes. And this guy, we named him, my husband named him Arnold. And he is so cute. Now, this is just an artist that drew this, and it is not the right colors. But um, yeah, it shows their big eyes and their two horns that they have. And it's such a cute face. His name we call Arnold. Giraffes have very long necks. I brought a picture, a coloring picture of a giraffe. And giraffes have a neck that's sometimes as long as six feet tall. Wow. And their legs are six feet tall sometimes. Wow, that is huge. They weigh so much. Don't forget, they weigh up to 2,500 pounds. That's a big giraffe. Now they have long tongue. They need these tongues to capture those leaves on the top of trees. And their tongues can be 20 inches long. Can you believe that? Giraffes have patterned fur. And their fur patterns, which you can see on this giraffe, their patterns are unique. Every giraffe has its own unique pattern. None of them are exactly the same. They are almost like us. We have fingerprints that are unique to each one of us. And God made us that way. He made us so special. Even the animals he made so special. Giraffes have one calf per season. And this calf, when it's born, drops five feet to the ground. And within one or two minutes, it can stand up on its leg. They are six feet tall when they're born. And maybe up to as much as 600 pounds. That's huge. Giraffes, um, Baby giraffes are called calves, and they, within um, 30 minutes or so, 
can run with their mom. Giraffes run as fast as um, 10 miles an hour, easily and gracefully, but they can run up to 35 miles an hour. Giraffes drink water only about twice in a week. That means they only get a drink two times in a whole week. And when they do, they go down to the water's edge and they spread their front legs way wide so that their neck can get down to drink water. Giraffes get most of their water from the leaves that they eat on acacia trees. Giraffes have a huge heart, a huge heart. It's two feet in length. Their heart is two feet and it weighs up to 23 or 24 pounds. Huge heart. They are non-aggressive animals. That means they are not attacking them. And they live in herds that are 10 or 20 in a herd. Giraffes live in the wild 25 years. They can be as old as 25 years. And when they're in captivity, they live for somewhere around 40 years. God made these beautiful, graceful creatures for us to enjoy. And we makes me think that we need to learn some things from a giraffe. They have big hearts. We need to have good hearts. We need to share our toys. We need to be loving and thoughtful and kind to everyone. We need to know that God made this world for all of us to enjoy. And God wants us to have big hearts like the giraffe and be gentle and kind and loving to everyone. I hope you learned some great facts about a giraffe today. Thank you so much for being such good listeners, and we'll see you next week.